Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I'm gonna be talking about all of the products that I have found really helpful throughout pregnancy so far. So I'm gonna be covering skincare, uh, prenatal vitamins, and then some clothing items that I've been relying on heavily throughout my pregnancy. So if you wanna know what, what products I've been using now that I am 22 weeks pregnant, then just keep watching. Okay, we're gonna start off with some skincare items because skincare during pregnancy is very important and your skin changes a lot throughout this time. My skin has been really dry, so a lot of the products that I'm using are to keep my skin nice and moisturized and hydrated and to help with some kind of special situations that I'll go over as well. Okay, so to start things off, a lot of us have been doing a lot of hand washing and hand sanitizing with everything that's going on. So I have been relying heavily on my Waleda Skin Food Cream. This is the original Ultra Rich Cream. It is a really nice hand cream. It does have a fragrance to it. I definitely don't mind it. I find it very pleasant. Um, but this one, like a little bit, goes a really long way. And it is very, very moisturizing and just makes sure that I'm not getting any eczema or really rough, dry skin with all that excessive hand washing and hand sanitizing. Okay, the next product I've found really helpful is the Laneige Glowy Makeup Serum. So even though I have a very moisturizing skincare routine, before I do my makeup, I find that I like to put on something like this, which is a really hydrating kind of serum primer uh, before makeup. This just really helps me not get any dry patches. It really helps with the application of makeup to make sure it goes really smoothly and it's not like sticking to patches on my face that are more dry. So since being pregnant, I already had dry skin, but I find that my skin just dries out so, so quickly now. So I definitely use this before every makeup application and to me it just helps it last longer and not like flake up throughout the day and help it not crease as well. So this has been the first step in my makeup routine throughout my pregnancy. Okay, next we're gonna talk about a couple of cleansers. Now this Legome Cell Up Gel to Water Cleanser is a bit of a new discovery for me, but I absolutely love this product. It is really interesting. It is just a gel. And then when you apply it on your face, it doesn't really foam up or anything. It just really acts like a jelly water solution. And since I've been home a lot, I'm not wearing makeup every single day. So on those days where I don't need a deep cleanse, I've just been using this and I just find that it doesn't dry my skin out at all. And if anything, it's pretty hydrating on my skin as well. So this has been my cleanser on the days where I'm not wearing makeup and I don't need a really deep cleanse. Just want to kind of refresh the face, cleanse the skin. This is also the cleanser I've been using in the morning just to make sure that my skin feels nice and fresh. And I've been really, really enjoying this instead of using like a traditional cleanser that does foam up. Even if it is well formulated and has really non-irritating surfactant, surfactants, it definitely can just dry out your skin. And when your skin is so, so sensitive like it is during pregnancy, I've just really enjoyed this one instead of a traditional cleanser. Okay, now we're gonna talk about like body wash. Um, if you have seen my best drugstore cleanser, you'd know that I use CeraVe as a body wash. It is fragrance free, it is uh, correctly pH balanced. It has a pH of about 5.5, which is perfect for cleansing the skin. So I've been using this as a body wash throughout my pregnancy and it's really great at thoroughly cleansing the skin without drying it out at all. And again, because it's not fragrance, it has no fragrance, which can be harder to find in a body wash. Fragrance-free body washes are pretty hard to find actually. This one is just really great if you are really sensitive to scents during this time and you're looking for something that gives you a really deep cleanse but is not gonna be irritating to your skin and not gonna be disruptive to your sense of smell. Okay, now we're gonna talk about moisturizers um, for the body, and I'm gonna start off with talking about this Lush Moisturizing Bar. This is really great for just massaging all over your skin and like rubbing it in. This has, I think like shea butter, cocoa butter, just a ton of different butters. It has a pretty light citrusy kind of scent and it has been really really nice to use in the evenings before going to bed all over the body it is a body butter though so i definitely make sure that i'm just putting on pajamas or putting on like a t-shirt that if it gets a little bit greasy that's okay 
but I really, really enjoy this product right now. And I think it's done a good job at keeping my skin very moisturized. Okay, next I've been using the Aveeno Skin Relief Moisturizing Lotion. This is really great for arms and legs, um, especially after you've like shaved your legs or anything. This one is nice because it really does dry down right away and you can put on jeans or leggings right away and they're not gonna get all greasy. So this one is really good for larger surfaces of your body. And again, it just dries down really quickly, but is extremely, extremely moisturizing and also fragrance free. So it's really good for sensitive skin. Okay, and then more of a heavy duty moisturizer for both your face and your body is the CeraVe Moisturizing Cream. I do use this on my face every once in a while. Um, I use a really small amount and I make sure that I've layered it over like hydrating products. This is really moisturizing. If you're using it on the body, again, it is just a thicker cream. It does not dry down as fast as the Aveeno one does, but this contains a lot of great ingredients such as ceramides, which are really good for your moisture barrier. So this one I use more focused on my belly area or any areas that are tending to get a little bit of eczema or extreme dry skin. That's what I use this one for. And this is a very, both of these are very, very affordable. Um, you get a lot of product and they're commonly found at the drugstore and are very affordable. And then my final moisturizing product has been this pink peppermint foot lotion. This has been really nice when my fiance massages my feet with it because when you're pregnant, you can get really sore and swollen feet, even just walking for like 30, 40 minutes. Um, so this has been a really nice treat to have massaged into my feet when I need a little bit of a foot massage. And it's pretty cute and it's pink. <laughs> Something that's been really fun is I got a Martin guitar and I've been learning how to play the guitar, which has been a great activity throughout pregnancy just to do something fun, but also with everything that's going on, I just kind of need another outlet and something fun to learn about. <laughs> okay, no. <laughs> As you can tell, I'm a pro. <laughs> and that brings me to today's sponsor, which is Skillshare. You guys have heard me talk about Skillshare before. So Skillshare is an online learning community where you can deepen your existing passions, you can learn new skills, and you can get really creative. The cool thing about Skillshare is part of their classes, they have projects, they also have community discussion boards, so you really feel immersed in the learning experience and it makes you accountable for the things that you're learning. But you still can learn at your own pace, whether you want to do 100 classes in one month or you just want to take it pretty slow, that is totally up to you, which is great. So since I'm learning guitar, I found a Skillshare course called Guitar Fundamentals, Learn Quick with Mike Boyd, and I've been taking this course just to learn the basics of you know, how to set up your guitar, tune it, some basic chords, and it has been really fun to go through all those lessons and play along. Skillshare offers a ton of different classes in different subjects such as illustration, design, photography, videography, entrepreneurship, so you could definitely find something that piques your interest and something that you want to learn more about. And Skillshare is also really affordable. It costs just $10 a month for the premium membership. Whereas if you were to take these classes just individually, it would be a lot more expensive uh, to just take them individually, either in person or online. The first 500 subscribers that click the link down in the description box will get two months free of the Skillshare premium membership, which is a really great opportunity to join this platform and start exploring your creativity. Thanks again to Skillshare for sponsoring this portion of the video. Something else that's really important to use and to take during pregnancy is prenatal vitamins. So I've been taking the Ritual Essential Prenatals and I really love their formulations, their ingredients, and just their transparency of their company as well. You learn a lot about the ingredients um, on their website and with the information that you can get from their manufacturers, which is really cool. So I take two of these a day, which is the recommended daily amount. And now I'm just gonna go through a few fashion items that have been really key in my pregnancy and maternity wardrobe. The first being maternity leggings. I have been absolutely living in these because normal leggings really cut you off where your 
baby bump is so it's really nice to have something that goes really high and has a little bit of extra fabric in the front here for your baby bump so i've been wearing maternity leggings pretty much every day i have three pairs and they just fit so nicely and are so so comfortable so that is definitely a must when you are pregnant so this piece is from guess it is just a blouse i bought it in a large instead of i'm normally a medium and this is great because it has enough room in the front for a bump it is nice and long in the back as well so you can wear it with leggings and it still looks really chic but comfortable and so i've really been liking these kind of flowier blouses but i have sized up just to make a little bit extra room for my belly so this dress i picked up in la it's from the brand monto uh, we just got it when we were walking along venice beach it's really really cute but what i want to show you guys and i have one more to show you as well is that um, just like the cinching of the waist so this is an elastic waist it is quite flowy and comfortable but where this hits on my belly it is really comfortable for the bump because it sits over top of the belly there's lots of room in here to grow more and overall it's just a really comfy fit when you're pregnant and then finally this is another dress from the bay from the brand vera moda this one is a long sleeve so it is better for the weather right now but again it has this cinched elastic waist that um, just cuts you right in the right spot for your belly sits over top of the, ba the baby bump and there's lots of room in here to grow as you grow over the months so those pieces just have been really, really comfortable throughout pregnancy because they do wear well with leggings. They hit you in the right spot. They do show off the bump nicely, but allow for a lot of room to grow and to breathe. So if you are pregnant, I definitely recommend you look into getting some just comfortable dresses that you can dress up or dress down that have that elastic cinched waist and just are really flattering during this time. All right, I'm pretty sure that's all the products that have been really essential during my pregnancy so far. Let me know if you have any pregnancy essentials that you'd like to share down in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you in my next one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's it? Cut? Yeah.